टीएमसी के राष्ट्रीय महासचिव अभिषेक बनर्जी के मेघालय दौरे के साथ ही तृणमूल कांग्रेस ने राज्य में चुनावी बिगुल फूंक दिया है उन्होंने पार्टी समर्थकों और कार्यकर्ताओं से आह्वान किया है कि वे राज्य से एनपीपी की सरकार को उखाड़ फेंकने के लिए पूरे जी जान से काम करें आज सुबह राज्य के दौरे पर पहुंचे अभिषेक बनर्जी ने शिलोंग में टी कार्यालय का उद्घाटन किया इस दौरान स्टेट सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी में पार्टी कार्यकर्ताओं को संबोधित करते हुए उन्होंने कहा कि मेघालय को कोई भी गुजरात से नहीं चला सकता उन्होंने कहा कि अब एनपीपी नित सरकार को बाहर का रास्ता दिखाने का वक्त आ चुका है आई एम हैप्पी एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ सैडनेस कंबाइंड टुगेदर दैट्स बिकॉज इन द वेरी फर्स्ट मीटिंग आई एम ओवर जॉइड टू सी द तृणमूल कांग्रेस इन इट्स वेरी फर्स्ट big event is running short of space and the sad feeling is because we have hundreds of workers who came here to attend the meeting but we couldn't offer them a space and are seated outside and are experiencing the meeting in the big screen so whoever has come and joined the meeting virtually or physically my big thanks to each one of them i'm grateful to each one of you to the workers of trinomool especially to the people of meghalaya a land of great possibilities for your warm and enthusiastic welcome the npp government on the other hand has completely ignored the state interest of the people residing in the state and has been a mere proxy and a puppet in the hands of bjp meghalaya is a land of possibilities as mr pringrope was rightly saying the abode of clouds has become the heaven for corrupt we have to change that meghalaya will not bow down before gujarat and delhi <laughs> meghalaya will not compromise on its self respect Meghalaya will not be cowed down by threats from Delhi and Madhya Pradesh. Meghalaya every Meghalayan will live his life with utmost respect dignity. TMC ke varishth neta tatha neta pratipaksh Mukul Sangma ne NPP par rajya ko lootne aur nirashajanak sthiti ki taraf dhakelne ka aarop lagaya. The present incumbent government has derailed the whole momentum of growth and development. the name and reputation of our beautiful state to our great discomfort and shame has taken a pity under the present dispensation the state has become infamous for all the wrong reasons for all the wrong things for the alleged irregularities corruption scams too many to mention here the insensitivity that we see in the attitude of the government the constant denial mode to all those issues which have been brought before the government is a reflection of their complicity in the whole alleged irregularities and corruption robbing the state of its state's scarce resources with well orchestrated modus operandi denying the salary of employees their dues forcing our teachers to run from pillars to posts to the extent of resorting to agitation displacing and depriving our local entrepreneurs by bringing and monopolizing selective outsiders thereby dislocating their whole career path as entrepreneurs denying the youth the job seekers their deserving jobs and thereby robbing them of what is due for the youth how many thousands of jobs are lying vacant and the uh, refusal of the government to provide that opportunity for the youth to take advantage of those vacancies forget about new creation of jobs 